Let's quickly discuss war fund management. Each player starts their war campaign with the same initial amount of starting gold, that is 100 gold to start the game with. The proper management of gold, which is also referred to as a war fund, is critical to achieving victory. Gold is used to pay for the many aspects and nuances of warfare. Gold is used to recruit new units to your army and deploy them onto the battle map. Gold is needed to pay for each unit's relative upkeep costs, ensuring your army is well maintained. Gold is also used to gain favor with those serving in your army via the buy loyalty rule. Using a war camp or settlement to restock a damaged unit or to resupply a unit's depleted supply resources via provision will also cost some gold. Some unique unit abilities will, will also require paying gold as part of its activation costs. Other abilities can cause a gain or loss of gold for either yourself or others. Now when and where to pay and gain gold? Unless an effect rule or event indicates whom gold is to be paid to, gold is always paid to and from the bank. By default, when gold is gained, it is paid from the bank. When an exchange of gold is done between players, it is typically due to a unit's unique ability effect. Some unique unit ability effects can steal gold from another player. If a player has no remaining gold to be stolen, then the remainder of the effect will be unsuccessful. This unstolen amount of gold will not be expected to be paid in the future. You cannot steal what they currently do not have. Now how to earn gold. As a warlord, you'll quickly realize that more gold must be acquired to lead a successful war campaign. Gold is primarily earned through war camp and protected settlement collect events. Assaulting and pillaging a settlement or recalling of an ally unit. Protecting a settlement offers a steady income of gold during the settlement's collect event each round. When a settlement is pillaged, you gain an immediate and substantial amount of gold and war tokens, but the settlement is usually destroyed and removed from the game. Gold can also be earned through various unique unit abilities. For example, gold is gained whenever the mercenaries unit kills an enemy unit via their spoils of war ability. There are other methods of managing your war fund which can lead to long-term efficiency. These methods involve minimizing expenses and exploiting unit synergies. Instead of paying gold to deploy an expensive elite unit, consider upgrading a high loyalty squad unit into an elite. Payment of a unit's upkeep costs can instead be skipped by paying loyalty or leadership. Recall a loyal unit when they are occupying desert or snowland terrain, which doubles their listed upkeep cost, and increasing the gold collected when refunding that loyalty.